Welcome to Adobe Math Movies. Today we are going to learn about equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same value, but have different numerators and denominators. Here we have one whole circle. If we take this circle and cut it into two equal parts, it would look like this. You can see that one part out of two has been shaded. This is represented by the fraction one half. Let's use the same circle again, but instead of having two equal parts, let's cut it into four equal parts. We now have four quarters if we shade two parts out of the four. What do you notice? The same amount has been shaded. That's right. From the visual representations, we can see that one half is the same amount as two quarters, which means they are equivalent fractions. Let's try to find another fraction that is equivalent to these two. Let's cut the same circle into six equal parts. This means the denominator will now be six since there are six equal parts. How many parts do we need to shade to make it the same amount as one half or two quarters? Let's see. We will need to shade three parts. That's correct. We will need to shade three parts out of the six. This means that the fraction three sixths, two quarters and one half are all equivalent fractions, since all three fractions represent the same amount shaded in the circle. Let's take the same circle and cut it into eight equal parts this time. The denominator will now be eight, since there are eight equal parts. How many parts do we need to shade in this new circle to make it equivalent to the previous three fractions? Uh, we will need to shade four parts. That's correct. Four eighths is an equivalent fraction to all the previous three fractions we've looked at, since they all represent the same amount shaded in the circle. Another way to identify and represent equivalent fractions is with a tool called Fraction Wall. Here we have a whole rectangle. Let's create equal parts with this rectangle like we did with the circle. We can create two equal parts, three equal parts, four equal parts, and so on. When we looked at equivalent fractions using the circle, we discovered that one half is the same amount as two quarters, three sixths, and four eighths. Let's see if that's also true on this fraction wall. Here is one half. Here are two quarters. As you can see, they both share the same amount as one half. Notice three sixths and four eighths are also equivalent to one half and two quarters on the fraction wall. There is one more equivalent fraction to one half on the fraction wall. Can you identify this fraction? Yes, I would say five tenths. Brilliant. Five tenths is equivalent to the other four fractions we identified, since they all represent the same value. Now that we have a deeper understanding of what equivalent fractions are, can you use the fraction wall to assist you in identifying all the equivalent fractions to one third? Remember, equivalent fractions represent the same value. As you can see on the fraction wall, the equivalent fractions to one third are two sixths and three ninths. Now let's take a closer look at two equivalent fractions. Let's choose one half and two quarters. Notice that to turn one half into two quarters, we can multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction one half by two. So procedurally, when we want to create an equivalent fraction, we must multiply both the numerator, the top number, and the denominator, the bottom number, by the same value. This keeps the value of the new fraction the same. Let's look at another two equivalent fractions that we identified earlier. For example, one half and five tenths. Notice that to turn one half into its equivalent fraction five tenths, we can multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction one half by five. The key thing to remember here is that when we want to create an equivalent fraction, we must multiply both the numerator, the top number, and the denominator, the bottom number, by the same value. This keeps the value of the fraction the same. We hope this lesson helped you gain a better conceptual understanding of equivalent fractions. Click like if you enjoyed the video, and remember to subscribe so that you can be notified of new content.